This app flattens the sound of your headphones and speaker monitors to give you a more accurate listening experience when you're producing. We're taking a quick look at Sonarworks Reference 4. It's available for the Mac and PC, and it works by correcting the frequency peaks and dips in your speakers or headphones. You can use it as a plugin in your DAW or as a site-wide application that sits in the background, letting you play back music from iTunes, Spotify, or YouTube with a flat frequency response for referencing songs while you produce and mix. Now, why would you want a flat frequency response though? All headphones and speakers have a particular signature sound. Whether that's a bump in the low end for more bass, as is the case with DJ headphones, or a dip in the mids and a spike in the highs and lows for that hyped sound. These characteristics sweeten the sound and make casual listening a more pleasurable experience. Those characteristics, however, are exactly what more expensive recording and production studio speakers and headphones want to get rid of. It may seem a bit of a paradox at first, but upper-tier reference studio monitors and headphones aim for a flatter, more sterile response that tries to suck out any hype or excitement from the frequency response. By keeping these biases and frequency bumps to a minimum, studio engineers and producers are able to hear an accurate representation of the sound coming out of their DAW. Generally speaking, the higher in price and quality, the flatter the response, though there is no totally flat studio playback system. At least not one that costs thousands of dollars in a room costing millions. Sonarworks Reference 4 wants to change that. For under $100, the app claims to flatten the frequency response of headphones that are compatible with it. The way it works is Sonarworks first creates a profile of a specific headphone. By measuring and mapping out its characteristics in the Sonarworks lab, the company is then able to determine the peaks and dips in the frequency response of a particular model, and it then applies correction within the software. The result is a flatter sounding headphone, at least in theory. Now, if you want to use it with your speaker monitors, you'll need to create a profile for them yourself using Sonarworks Reference 4 Studio Edition, which costs just under 300 bucks. Plus, you need to pick up a measurement microphone available directly from Sonarworks. It costs around $69. The reason for this is because the app also measures how your speakers interact with the room that they're in, so you need to do the measuring yourself. So I added the Sonarworks Reference 4 plugin to the master bus of my Ableton Live project. You need to insert it after all of your processing in the master channel. And once inserted, you then open the plugin and choose your headphone from the drop-down list. Once selected, you can then enable or disable the frequency correction. The result is immediate, apparent, and to be honest, really eye-opening. Switching the correction on removes the bass and high-end sparkle of my Audio-Technica headphones. I now hear a less exciting, flatter sound. I also hear more of the mids now, like they're on the same level as the lows and highs. And to be honest, it's a bit off-putting at first, and you'll want to bypass the correction to get back to that good sound of your headphones that you're kind of used to. But this is exactly what Sonarworks Reference 4 is meant to do. By turning the correction on, you're now hearing your production without any of the sweetness or warmth added by your choice of headphones, and you're left with the rather naked feeling of hearing your music without these sonic embellishments. The good news is that this flatter sonic representation allows you to make more informed critical listening decisions without having to deal with the built-in biases and characteristics of your headphones or speakers. If your cans have a bias towards the low end, for example, you may realize that your production doesn't have enough bass when you play it back on other systems like your car or through a different pair of speakers or headphones. And the reverse is also true. If your speakers are brighter and lacking in low end, you may end up mixing in too much bass to the point that it sounds wooly when you listen on other playback systems. Sonarworks Reference 4 helps in this regard through its correction algorithm, though there are limitations. If your headphones or speakers are just about decent and usable, such as the entry-level headphone models in Sonarworks' list, don't expect them to sound as good as models that cost thousands of dollars like the Sennheiser HD800. That said, the flattening does allow you to get the most out of your existing can, so that in itself should be enough reason for DJ producers who are starting to get serious with their production and mixing to pick it up, especially if they don't have access to more expensive gear or a treated room. 
Sonoworks Reference 4 is a great idea in theory, and in practice, it is able to make those corrections, lessening the biases and characteristics of your headphones or speakers in favor of a more neutral sound. The result is that the app makes it easier to hear and tweak nuances in your mix using your existing playback system. The only downside is that it doesn't cover a lot of headphones meant for DJing. There are a few in there. It has the Pioneer DJ HDJ500 and Sennheiser HD25, but the list kind of needs updating as there are many new DJ headphones available in the market. If you're aiming to get started producing music and would like to pick up a pair of headphones, Sonarworks 4 is a great companion app to go along with it. We recommend picking up something like the Audio-Technica ATH-M40X or ATH-M50X, both of which are in Sonarworks' list of compatible headphones. Adding in the measurement microphone and getting the Studio Edition also means that you can calibrate your speaker monitors for mixing and producing. Overall, it's a fantastic tool to really get the most out of your headphones or monitor system. Just adjust your expectations. In other words, don't expect it to turn a cheap pair of headphones or speakers into one that costs tens of thousands of dollars. So that's it for this quick talk through of the Sonarworks Reference 4 app. I've got the full review over at the Digital DJ Tips site. The link is in the description box below. Hit the thumbs up and like buttons and share this with your friends and your online enemies. My name is Joey. Thank you so much for watching this review. I'm going to see you next time.